The last part of our presentation is on how to manage your information with a reference manager. We've actually been doing that already, so there's only a few things that I want to mention here. Let's head back to Zotero first of all. We've already mentioned how both Zotero and Mendeley give you rather good options for creating new folders and adding references across multiple folders. And the way that both Zotero and Mendeley work is that references that you download are all stored in your My Library main folder. And then you create subfolders underneath. And in Mendeley, it's called they're called collections. But once you do that, you can add, you'll keep your references and add them into different folders. One of the other powerful things, because I've been talking about doing searches across multiple databases, so you're bound to get duplicate entries that show up if you're just downloading references into Mendeley or Zotero and not really keeping track of them. This is one of the things, the very nice things you can do is you don't have to worry about what you're downloading. Just go in later and look for duplicate items, which you can see right here. And we've got all our duplicates arranged by alphabetical order here. So you can just get rid of them as you wish. So what I've done is I've selected all the duplicate items over here on the left-hand side, and we see them. There are a lot, um, just because I use this as my test file. But in order to deal with the duplicates, you can merge them. And it's relatively easy to do that. But it may take a little bit of time in Zotero to do that. So that's one of the things that you can do to manage your information a little bit better and not worry about duplicates. You can also remove duplicates from databases like ProQuest, but when you're merging references or that you're retrieving from multiple databases, this is the way that you'll have to deal with it. Probably a good idea to do this on a regular basis once you're downloading things. The other thing that you can do with Zotero is, let's go to our items that we've just downloaded. So once I've selected these, I'm going to drag them into a Word document. And lo and behold, there's a bibliography. Now please keep in mind something I always say to students. This is really, uh, this is great. However, you're going to have to go through and eyeball these references with a fine tooth comb because the problem of garbage in, garbage out, the bibliography is only as good as the information that's inputted on the database end. So you'll really have to check that as well. However, another thing that you can do is right click and create a bibliography from these items. This is a little bit more manageable and probably a little bit more precise because you can actually select the citation style you want to use, output it as a bibliography, and save it into a particular type of document. So I won't bother. You can change the format. Well, you should be able to change the format, um, but I won't bother doing that right now. But that's something that you can do in Zotero. And lastly, at the time of this recording, I'll just say I've been having a number of issues with Mendeley Reference Manager. They've updated it recently. You used to be able to actually remove duplicates fairly easily, and that was using the old Mendeley Desktop Manager, which I do have and is still available. So if you haven't downloaded the Reference Manager, you may want to consider downloading the Desktop Manager. But at this point, I've conferred with my colleague who teaches citation management exclusively, and he's uncertain as to how to actually remove duplicates. We've been having a number of problems with the reference manager. And the other thing is that you can create a bibliography using Mendeley, but you have to do it with a plugin that's installed in Word. At this point, I'll just suggest that you take one of our citation workshops and so to illustrate that, we're back on the library homepage. We have a number of workshops here on citations taught by my, well, this one is taught by Pauline in Brantford, but it's usually taught by my colleague, Greg. There he is uh, here at the Laurier campus. He does it over Zoom these days. He'll touch base on Zotero and Mendeley. He's an excellent teacher and he'll do it in a lot more detailed format because he's got an hour to teach it. So I really recommend you register and take this workshop. And again, thank you for watching. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.